Okay. This may not make sense, but it makes sense in my head. Uh, I come in from the garage. I got my first set of switches. I come around the living room uh, bedroom entrance. I got three switches right there. I get the porch switch. And then I have two switches in the hallway, another switch going downstairs, and then the actual switch downstairs. So this is basically the first part of what I want to tackle with me Ross smart switches, which this is, this, there you go. Me Ross smart switches. These are three ways. Right now I ordered two three ways without really planning this out. And based off of this, so the O's are the threes. Uh, so I have um, one set that's gonna go here, one set that makes me go over to here, and then this set makes me go over to here. So these that's a single, these two are singles, that's a single, and that's a single. Um, so I thought I'd be able to make it like here, here, and here, but I didn't realize I need a third one to get here. But that's okay. I bought some of these. Um, these were something recommended off of Reddit that allows me to have uh, two in one. So these don't come with the option. Miros doesn't sell the option to have multiple switches. So I had to try to find the best, the next best thing as far as uh, being able to hook up to them. So I'm going to try that first, make sure everything fits. And then I'm going to tackle switching everything over to the smart switches that way. I can control everything because so far, me Ross, both with the garage door openers and the light bulbs and switches, everything that I've used so far with me Ross has been the best possible experience. But to, before I do all that, first thing I got to do is cut power because that's something I will not do live. <laughs> and based off of this, it should be these two. <laughs> Oh, okay, good to know, good to know, got more stuff to turn off, all right, yeah, maybe entry slash garage are tied to the same thing. but it doesn't actually turn the lights on. So, time to do the old fashioned test. Okay. Ooh, okay, nope, has power. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is the single for the garage. So I'm gonna start with the single, cause that's the simplest one. You know, it's very basic. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the single and then I'm gonna start working on Make sure this is dead. Okay, then I'm gonna start working on the three-way. Now, as you can see, you have line in, line out. Um, so that is the basic wiring of this, line in, line out, and the ground, of course. But I also need to tap into a neutral wire, which is in here, and that, that rat's nest, which I might try to clean up a little bit, but yeah. the neutral um we're tracing the the hot i trade i tapped the neutral into the neutral uh, so i had to add that on there everything seems like it's on there pretty tight uh, i temporarily set up the ground i don't really need it for a test but you know just in case this is the line out that goes up to the garage lights and of course this is hot so everything feels like it's secure so what i'm going to do now just to just to get this tested out and everything is i'm going to turn on just the garage which should bring power to this, and then see if I wired this right. I don't see any sparks. Looks like the light is on. The light is off, perfect. Now I can pair it. Got everything going, but if you run Unify, like ubiquity stuff, and you have LR6, the long range six, you definitely wanna take full advantage of your first connection and update the firmware instead of use it. 
because I had to like reset it a bunch of times. And then once you update the firmware, Miros fix some stuff with their connection issues that, uh, yeah. Anyways, update your firmware. Okay. I've never actually hooked up like a three-way before, but they have these lines called traveler lines, right? So you have the line in traveler one, traveler two, and then your neutral and green. It seems relatively straightforward. The only difference is of course I'm gonna have to hook up because this needs a circuit to power it. I'm gonna have to tap into the uh, neutral here. So I'll be adding another neutral line. I won't be adding it to this because it's not part of the circuit. Instead, I'll be adding it to this one. Ta-da! Look at that, look at that. Now I'm at the... <laughs> How do I get everything in the hole? That's gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back to this one because I got the first three-way hooked up. So now I gotta go to the other one, which is this one right here and hook that up. Now I hook this up, right? So this is the other lights. Now this far one is the secondary for the three-way over there in the other side of the kitchen. I think I hooked it up right. Um, I'm going to be shortening and redoing some of these wires just so I can fit everything into the box, but I wanted to make sure that I did hook it up right. So I hooked it up and got it to a point where now I can go turn the power on, get everything connected and make sure it's right before I go through all the process of, you know, redoing and stuffing crap back in the, in the wall. Can you leave the cat alone for like five seconds? Five, five, stop. I have power, look at this. All right, so if I push that, and then I go over here, and I push that, it turns it off. <laughs> there you go. Wait, that's my first three-way. <laughs> okay, so I learned something today when it comes to three-way switches, and that is that there's, there's a sort of a, uh, like a master-slave thing going on, just like hard drives, but look at this, so check this out. So originally I put the smart Wi-Fi uh, three-way switch over here and they're sold in two packs, or at least the one I bought was in a two pack. So I thought you had to run two of them together in unison in order to make one, you know, three-way light switch. Completely wrong. When in fact you need one dead switch or dumb switch, right? And that one has to be the furthest away. So this is, is going to be, you know, the secondary switch or the salacious switch, whatever you want to consider it as. And then this one is the primary master switch. So basically the line comes in, powers, uh, this is the main power. And I imagine these are all going to be mains right here just because this is split off multiple times. So this is the main power. Then it uses a travel power that goes to the other switch or two travel lines that go to the other switch and then the common. Uh, so I did not know that before, which means a couple things. One, that means I have plenty of three-way switches because um, <laughs> you only need one per, but two, that means I actually have to go and get some of these you know, square switches that are just regular. That way I can fit everything over here with just, you know, with the same style of switch, basically. This smart switch works just fine because it's only a single switch, but this one does not. So I need to get a fancy one that's shaped like a square. Three-way switches. Okay, I had to make a quick run to Home Depot. Um, like I said, switching this one out. Now, this is gonna be like the easiest one, but these are not deep socketed um, wall things. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of squeezing in. When I installed this, the thing that I did do was shorten up the lines just a little bit. Not too long to where it's gonna be inconvenient and hard like to get it installed and it still hangs out of the wall like it does, but it's going to allow me to get a little bit, reclaim a little bit of that room that I need in order to uh, you know, fit everything in. Because this one over here, see how well you're gonna be able to see it. Now that I have everything installed, there's a lot of wiring. This isn't even ready. Like I just wanted to make sure everything worked, but this is gonna be really tough to get three of these huge boxes shoved into this little hole and with all these extra wires running around. So it's gonna take a little bit of finessing on this part to get that working. So I'm gonna start with the other one first. <laughs> call it a, call it a warm up. 
And I got a pack of these, only 30 bucks, got 10 of them, got more than I need, which is gonna be great. Guess what I did? I put this in upside down. It's a three-way switch, so it doesn't matter, but it's just a little letter right there that I really do not feel like taking this thing apart and flipping it upside down. So it'll be our little secret. However, this is the first wall plate that is done. Got both of them on here. One of them is smart, one of them not. And yeah, I've already removed power because I'm about to start on the next one, but Pretty much this wall plate is the easiest way to do this, to install this is once you kind of get your wires in there and you know that your switch can fit, is that the bottom part of this wall plate, you wanna screw into the two outlets. That way it's everything's lined up and then they give you the hole uh, underneath it to where you can screw it into the actual box into the wall. And that's what I found is the best way to get everything lined up. Now, for some reason, whether it's the box or something, I could, no matter what I did, could not get this one corner to be flat. Um, it's not really that big of a deal, but uh, yeah. If you're out there trying to do this, make sure to screw in the bottom plate first, and then put on the top decorated plate, and should be good. Now I get to move on to the more difficult box. Alexa, turn the back porch off. Okay. Turn off the stairway lights. Okay. Turn off the bright upstairs lights. Okay. There we go. I love this because I can group things together and like Christmas tree, string lights, the fireplace lights, and I can control them individually when they work. But Alexa, turn off the mood lighting. Okay. Okay. It's magic. I still have some cleanup to do, but I have went through all the boxes that I originally purchased for this little endeavor of mine. It's actually only four boxes worth of stuff, but I had enough to hook up uh, those three switches, which I had to buy, like I said before, uh, a box of these regular three ways. So this came with 10, I used four, so that's good. Uh, I was able to hook up uh, pretty much this is for the kitchen. So you need one smart and one dummy in order to do a three-way switch, apparently. And then this goes to the garage lights outside. These also control the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room, which are really close to each other. But yeah, that, close, that controls that. Oh my God, that's dirty. And that controls the fireplace light. And of course, the porch light. Coming over here to the hallway. So this was the biggest thing. This took the longest because there was just so much packed in there. Thankfully though, this turned out to be a lot easier for this one. That one was a pain in the butt. This one, way easier because I only needed one smart switch and that is for the fan. Oh yeah, I could turn on the fan too just by telling Alexa. So I hooked up the fan to the switch. Both of these are slave switches, which means all of the uh, primary master ones are over here or on the other wall. And then these are dummy switches that actually go to my front porch lights. But I have those hooked up to Miros smart light bulbs already. So I figured it would be kind of dumb to have double smart switches. Like these are either on or off. And then I can control the light switches just how they are, you know? That way I can control the color or what? I don't know. I might change it out later. Realistically, I ran out of light switches. Not even gonna lie, like I literally had just barely enough to make it to 
the stairway, the stairways, and then do the primary basement lights. Just had enough to do that. So I can turn off my main basement lights. I already have my studio and stuff controlled. I can turn off my stairway lights, and that's as far as I made it. But everything else up here in the main living area, all those lights are smart. I don't know if every brand of, you know, multi-square things would work, but when I got online to look up some Miros faceplates for, you know, double or triple uh, outlets, I found these specifically to work with this, and they worked flawlessly. Obviously, there's a trick to kind of get everything in, get it lined up, but they make it super easy. And once I got all that figured out, it was just a breeze, just a matter of getting everything done, downloading the Alexa app because, you know, you have to kind of configure the groups and things like that. And then now I want, you know, dots in every room. I feel like I rejected Alexa for so long on weird principles, but now I love her. Even though she's not perfect, whether that's me, Ross, or Alexa, I don't really know for sure, but I'm, I'm digging it. Now I just got to set up some automations. I even signed up for IFTCT, so who knows what I'm going to do with that. I have no idea. I do, however, have a bunch of extra faceplates. Probably just going to throw them all in one single box, put them away somewhere, and absolutely never use them again. But uh, one thing I, I can say is that I have completely fallen in love with me, Ross. They did not send me any of this. I asked them to. I emailed them. I was like, bro, you want to sponsor my channel? You know? Send me over, like, I don't know, eight boxes of light switches? No response. So, totally unsponsored. I chose to go with their ecosystem for two reasons. One, the app is super simple to use. It's easy. And two, now that they've updated their firmware and Ubiquiti has updated their firmware, all, like all my Unify access points it has done some updates, now I finally have a stable connection that doesn't drop out like what originally happened when I got the Unify LR6s, the long range sixes. So I had that problem in the, in the beginning and I had to run an old TP-Link router just for my Internet of Things devices. As soon as some updates came out and I finally just tried it again after all the updates, everything worked. Now I'm just like, oh my God, smart everything. My adventure is not done though because this... Bedroom light, bedroom fan. I want to get those smart. Bathroom light, closet light. This is actually a three-way. I need that smart too. And a bunch of different switches downstairs. I'm not going to go through every single one, but you get the idea. I'm not done. I have another order and I need to actually sit down and count what I need because I, I don't want to get into this and then run out again and whatever. I just kind of ordered like four more boxes. So also, I decided to try out this. This is a Miros Thermo thermometer. It's a Miros thermometer. This is actually the hub. And over in here in my server room, I have one of the little devices, which I have another one coming in just so I can, you know, see how it works with two of them. Oh my God, guys, stop. Stop it. So I'm going to see how it works with two of them, but I'll do a little overlay right here. And as you can see, it just allows me to see the humidity and temperature of my server room. And then I can create routines or you know, something to be like, hey, is it too hot? Do this, too cold, do that. I have no idea. This is like the beginning of a rabbit hole and I could put these things anywhere. It's kind of cool. So in closing, I am in love with me raw stuff. If you guys want to check out uh, what do I install today, I will put those in the links in the description down below. I can say this, I like the me Ross because not only does it work with Alexa, but it also works with Siri. So I could tell Siri to do something remotely I have an Apple TV here that I use solely as a hub and I can control everything remotely. You could probably do that with Alexa. I don't know. I've literally only been in bed with Alexa for the last 24 hours. So um, that's the beginning of the rabbit hole of the smart home with the lights and stuff like that. The only thing Miros doesn't have yet, I think, is an in-wall plug, which is kind of a letdown. Whenever they do that, I could imagine myself getting some of those as well. This definitely took a lot longer than I thought. and I definitely have a lot more to go. But I am excited to be able to just say, Alexa, turn all of the lights off. And then just everything shuts down. That's cool. Well, guys, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to post those in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself 
a great day.